Well, good evening. Um, members of the PhD program, students, faculty, guests, uh, uh, President Franklin, uh, any members of the public who are here, um, everyone who came out tonight. Uh, for me, I have to say, after a couple of years of retirement, it's nice to be back in the classroom, if even for just one night. Um, I'd like to thank you for your remarks, Jonathan, about the history and a mandate of, of the PhD program. And I would like to thank you very much, Stephen, uh, for the kind words and for launching this uh, lecture series. I am honored uh, and I'm very pleased to be associated with this uh, commitment on the part of the Cultural Studies PhD program to bring distinguished scholars to share uh, their cutting edge ideas with our community of students, and faculty, and public. This is a forward-looking step and goes very much with the grain of what I feel I've stood for during my career at Trent. As Jonathan said, we have a long history of stimulating encounters with high-quality visitors, and it's gratifying to know that this will continue. I certainly plan to do my best to provide material support to this very worthwhile endeavor. And needless to say, it gives me great pleasure to welcome such a fine inaugural guest as Professor Mark Hansen, our speaker tonight. And uh, before going on with the rest of my remarks, I would also like to thank all of the colleagues who have worked very effectively for some time to make the talk tonight and the seminar tomorrow a memorable success. Now, it's my fortune tonight, and my good fortune at task, to provide a brief introduction to Professor Hansen's work uh, before he stimulates us with his own talk. Um, I'm going to stick closely to my notes, because that's the only guarantee I have that I can stay reasonably brief. Um, and I have to start by thanking Professor Hansen for his generosity in bringing us his most recent work, even prior to its imminent publication by the University of Chicago Press in a book to be called Feed Forward on the Future of 21st Century Media. I have to know that this will be his seventh book in a period of little over a decade uh, from such major academic publishers as MIT, Cambridge, Chicago, Duke, and Routledge. At the same time, he has also published dozens of articles. He has held teaching positions of one kind or another in some of the best universities of the world at Austin, Princeton, Stanford, Chicago, and now Duke, where he's currently professor of literature and arts of the moving image. Um, actually, I'd have to say that Mark Hansen is something of a phenomenon. Uh, he's a new media theorist who has literally risen like a meteor to prominence and influence in the first few years of the 21st century, alongside of what we have all experienced as the meteoric rise of new media, uh, and in fact, of a ubiquitous technological environment to which we are trying to adapt and which we are casting about to understand. Hansen's work bridges the humanities and the sciences. It is exemplary in raising the interdisciplinary issues uh, that we care about. And I have to say from reading his books uh, and having ha spent many pleasurable hours in the last few weeks reviewing them, that his treatment of these issues is really rich. It's rich in detailed dialogue with a host of contemporary cultural theorists, cognitive and neuroscientists, and neo-cybernetic theorists, and of course not least, an exciting array of new media artists and their digital productions. What makes the work compelling is that it is not only erudite, but also precise at the same time, and that it is surprisingly dynamic in advancing through problems and vocabularies. Now, I, I would be foolish to try to summarize his arguments, but what I would like to do is to point uh, to the challenging agenda and the coherent set of commitments that guide his work. From the first book, 
called Embodying Technesis, Technology Beyond Writing, published in 2000, through New Philosophy for New Media in 2004, Bodies in Code in Rapid Succession in 2006, uh, to Emergence and Embodiment in 2009, and Critical Terms for New Media in 2010, Professor Hansen has been writing about how to approach technology outside its excessive subordination to the prevailing regimes of discursivity and constructivism. In other words, how to approach technology as a material force with a non-representational, experiential, diffuse impact on physical, social, and cultural life. Now, whether when we see him in his writings, whether he has seen refuting technophobia in the humanities, or a disembodiment in information and media theory, whether he is reclaiming Bergson's theory of affect and embodied framing in the production of images, or updating Merleau-Ponty's ontology of the flesh in order to make the case for technicity as correlative to embodiment, whether he's allying with Simon Doan and Castoriadis to reproportion the ratio of autonomy and alterity in systems theory, or updating McLuhan to chart a middle course between Hales and Kittler, or indeed whether he's engaged in the encounter with a wide range of digital artworks by visual artists like Jeffrey Shaw or Donald Gordon or Bill Viola, Professor Hansen's writing is invariably lively. It's always steady, it's ever substantial, and the force of its argument is cumulative. We could say that his research is driven by a consequential acknowledgement of the increasing and accelerating technical complexification of our world and the recognition of the need to respond practically and intellectually to the growing non-trivial agency of the techno environment. In addressing a series of issues which are generally grouped under the rubric of the post-human or the inhuman, his radical proposal of a technical phenomenology of the originary technical basis of embodied experience, of the originary technicity of the human, rests on his understanding of technicity as exteriorization, which is not and cannot be simply added on to some natural core of embodied life, but which has to be seen as cons constitutive dimension of embodiment from the start. And then his the term, the title of one of his books, Bodies in Code, then, is a term which designates embodiment as it is necessarily distributed beyond the skin in the context of contemporary techniques. So let me draw attention to this last point. Professor Hansen is unabashedly a co-evolution guy. On, on his account, as on McLuhan's half a century ago, the human is coupled with the technological, intrinsically, fundamentally, essentially, and right from the start. Embodiment and techniques always function uh, and evolve um, in conjunction across multiple and complex boundaries, which may be more or less permeable or impermeable, depending on the scale being explored. As for the current digital stage of what I guess he would call the ongoing technogenesis of the human, Professor Hansen makes an intriguing and fertile observation about what it is that makes new media new. And he suggests in the essay on new media in the book Critical Terms for Media Studies, published with Professor Tom Mitchell, that for the first time, media and techniques diverge. That the sensory surfaces or the forms of media, visual or oral or tactile, through which we interface with our informational universe, are no longer homologous with the actual materialities that they mediate. That is, with the underlying computational processes which support them. Under these conditions, media, on his account, acquire a new function, 
that goes far beyond storing and communicating experience. They acquire a vocation to mediate the technical infrastructure, what he uh, calls the technological unconscious, the computational processes which condition our experiences and make them possible. In other words, I think he would say that it is exactly the ongoing practice of interfacing the digital with sensory experience through the new media, which enlarges our capacity to act in the material world and which renders the human non-contingent. Uh, non the new media may be our new best friend. So what then is the next stage in Professor Hansen's human-centered joint articulation of the underpinning mathematics of digital computers with the human scales of experience? Well, he will have to tell you that himself. It's my great pleasure to turn over the microphone to him now for his announced talk, whose topic is, as Jonathan mentioned, Media Futures, Media Theoretical Mathematics in Action. For my part, I would like to thank everyone for your attendance here today. I appreciate the occasion. I would like to thank Professor Hansen for his amazingly interesting work and also in advance for what I'm sure will be a stimulating talk. Now, again, a reminder, after his talk, there will be a short break and then a question period, and then after that, the reception over in the trend. And now, the transfer of technology. Thank <laughs> you.